students welcome back let's continue with our wireless sensor network so the next topic in this to uh, wireless sensor network is a mac protocols for sensor networks okay yeah having the mac protocols for mobile computing and the mob ad hoc networks as well as the sensor networks so what are the mac protocols for the sensor network and what is the main object of using this mac protocols in sensor network let's see a mac protocols objective is to reduce the energy consumption the main aim of mac protocols in sensor network is to reduce energy consumption because the sensor nodes whatever that are present in the network that sensor nodes are battery powered so whatever the uh, uh, sensor techni uh, technology you are taking each sensor is uh, worked based on the battery power so to uh, the sensor nodes that are battery power with limited battery power, power so to reduce that consumptions we are using the mac protocols okay the main aim of the objective of using the mac protocols in the sensor network is to reduce the energy consumptions because the sensor nodes are battery powered with the limited battery the challenges posed by the sensor networks for the mac protocols are no single controlling authority is there so global synchronization is difficult in the sensor networks and the power efficiency issue is there in the sensor network so these are all the challenges that challenges has to be faced while designing the mac protocols and those mac protocols which already designed those are facing these challenges okay a power efficiency issue and the frequent topology changes due to the mobility and the failure actually there are three kinds of mac protocols used in the sensor network so what are the those three uh, let me explain you those three kinds of mac protocols those are fixed allocation demand based and the contention based okay so actually in ad hoc networks if you take uh think about the ad hoc networks so in the ad hoc networks uh, the mac protocols are the contention based mac protocols okay but in the wireless sensor networks uh, the mac protocols are uh, that are used in the sensor networks are of three kinds fixed allocation demand based and the contention based so let's see one by one what is a fixed allocation mac protocol so what how this mac protocol is uh, used to reduce the energy consumptions in the sensor let's see so this fixed allocation mac protocol shares a common media through a predetermined sn mine so that is the first thing and this fixed allocation mac protocol is suitable for sensor networks that continuously monitor and generate determinist data traffic why here whatever the fixed allocation mac protocol this is one type of mac protocol this protocol is monitoring okay continuously in the sensor the sensor networks uh, continuously monitoring and generate the determinist data traffic so for that this fixed allocation mac protocol is suitable and it will be needed and it provides a bounded delay for each node the fixed allocation mac protocol is provide a bounded delay for each node however in the case of bursty traffic so if you take the bursty traffic case uh, where the channel requirements of each node may vary over time it may lead to inefficient usage of the channel so in that cases we are using the fixed allocation okay so this is a fixed allocation mac protocol is used in the case of the bursty traffics and the next type of the protocol that is the demand based mac protocol so how this demand based protocol is used to reduce the energy consumptions in the sensors so this is used in such cases where the channel is allocated according to the demand of the node so whenever then it requires then only it will be work and then only the power will be on then only the power battery power will be used demand based mac protocol whenever it needed then only it will be initiated the variable rate traffic can be efficiently transmitted in this demand based protocol this requires the additional overhead of reservation process okay so if you use the demand based mac protocol in the sensor networks requires the additional overhead of reservation process 
and the next uh, type of protocol that we used here is the contention based MAC protocol. The contention based MAC protocol here the random access based conditions are used for this channel where the packets need to be transmitted. So contention based MAC protocol uses the random access based contention and it is suitable for the bursty traffic. Okay, and this is suitable for the bursty traffic. Here the collisions and the number, uh, no delay guarantees are there and are not suitable for the delay sensitives or real-time traffic. The contention-based MAC protocols uh, has a collisions and no delay guarantees and are not suitable for the delay sensitive or real-time traffic. So these are all three main uh, MAC protocols for the sensor networks. Now let's see the self-organizations of the MAC for sensor that is a SMACS. So these are also the these two main protocols out there, which is a SMACS self organization MAC for sensor network and eavesdrop and register EAR eavesdrop and register are two protocols which handles the network initialization and mobility support respectively. So these mainly these two protocols, the SMACS. There's a self-organization MAC sensors and the eavesdroppers and register. These two protocols are handling the network initialization and also mo mobility support. So let's see what is this SMACS protocol and ERA protocol. So self-organization MAC for sensors protocol. Here the neighbor discover, discovery and channel assignment take place simultaneously in a completely distributed manner. So we know that the sensor networks are the uh, distributed, completely distributed manner which uses the ad hoc technology. So here uh, in the SMS years, the neighbor discovery and the channel assignment, the both are takes place simultaneously. And here in the self-organization MAC for sensors, a communication link is established between the two nodes which consists of pair of time slots at a fixed frequency. So this point you have to be remember that. In self-organization MAC for sensors, a link, a communication link will establish between the two nodes and that consists of pair of time slots at fixed frequencies. And this SMS CS uh, scheme requires synchronizations only between the communicating neighbors in order to define the slots to be used for their communication. So we are using the synchronization technique in the self-organized max for sensor uh, only used for uh, between the communicating neighbors only. So in order to define the slots to be used for their communication means allotting the time slots to the sensors. Here the power is conserved by turning off the transceivers during ideal slots. And another protocol which is used to handle the network initialization and mobility support is EAR protocol. Eavesdrop and register protocol which is a MAC protocol for sensor network. Then what this EAR protocol will do? It enables the seamless connections of nodes under mobile and stationary conditions. And these protocols make use of certain mobile nodes. Okay, so besides the existing stationary sensor nodes to offer the service to maintain connections and here the mobile nodes eavesdrops on the control signals and maintain a neighbor information. So these are all the different MAC protocols which are used for the sensor networks. Thank you.